Hello everybody and welcome to freetradingvideos.com. This is Manador and uh, I want to continue on with the risk graph series on uh, stocks and options and uh, some of the combinations of the two. And uh, we had talked about buying calls and buying puts. What we need to take apart next is what when happens when we sell a call, right? Because if we're going to buy a call, somebody has to sell it to us. So what happens there and then also what happens when we sell a put. So if we can uh, dive into those two things, add them, uh, probably separate those into two videos. So we'll do sold calls first. And so I'm in Thinkorswim, nice little piece of software for analyzing risk graphs and other uh, great options work and uh, also stock work as well. So type any symbol up here under the Analyze tab and uh, put anything in there. You'll see if it's optionable stock, you'll see a, a whole options chain for that symbol all the dates, uh, expiration dates, all the way out uh, as far as they are listed, which is great. Uh, so pick anything. We'll just take some uh, January waits. It's only 28 days until the third Friday when it expires. Actually, the third Saturday it expires, but trading stops on uh, Friday at 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So um, take any call. Let's just sell one of these guys. So again, all the calls on the left side, all the puts on the right. So click and hover over the bid side and you will sell that guy and you'll see him plop in here. Of course if you want to change that just do a drop down menu and change it to a buy. So we're going to sell. Let's just go to one contract. You can change these. Alright, so we're going to sell one contract. Equivalent of 100 shares. January awaits uh, 35 strike price calls for $2.55. Alright, so just go to risk profile now. Since we were on Add Simulated Trades, click on Risk Profile, go up here to Single, plus one expiration, click on that, and you'll see what that risk graph looks like. So you can drag this around, left click and hold right there, you'll change that. You can also left click and hold the bottom and you'll change the scale that you're looking at. Left click and grab up here, so on and so forth. And you can do that and fine tune this as much as you like until it gives you a picture that's easily read. So again, the white line is where we are right now. The green line will be at expiration, which is very, very nice. And so in 28 days, that white line will get closer and closer and closer all the way up until 28 days later, it will be exactly the green line. That's the expiration graph, which is excellent. So now we know that if the stock closes at $35 or less, we will make a maximum amount of $255. See that right there? If I go above $35, we will start losing money, all the potential in that trade. And if the stock at expiration gets to this line, that's the break-even line at expiration, uh, we will start losing money. And what's interesting about <laughs> when you sell a call is that that, at, that number is actually endless. Right? It could drop to infinity because the stock could go up forever. Right? Not likely, but um, uh, let, let me just kind of drag this and show you what happens if you were to take a large hit in this. So selling calls, if you drag out a little bit, starts to seem worse and worse and worse. <laughs> You're only making a maximum amount of $255, which of course is the premium that you took in when you sold it to the person who bought it. Right, you get that. You can't get one penny more than that, but you could lose endless amounts of money if the stock went up dramatically. Right, even if that's not likely, uh, there's always a chance that that can happen. So not a lot of people will try to do uh, this kind of risk graph. They will try to protect themselves on top of that as well. Very good. One way to do that is uh, with a covered call. But uh, if you check out my covered calls versus um, naked puts video that I've done also, you'll see that that ends up just simply looking like a naked put. All right, very good. So that's why I wanted to mention about these. It's nice to know this. Uh, if you're selling calls naked, you can make a lot of money doing this, but it's very, very dangerous to do it if the stock ever gaps up on you. One way to, to mitigate that risk would be to um, not be as greedy. All right, so in this case, here's a 30. So now I have a maximum uh, profit of $710, right? But uh, I could lose endless amounts of money because I'm already in the bottom part of that curve. I can force it the other direction. So I'll uh, check this out. Go to 40. 
right? So now I only make $21 on that trade. But what are the chances that the stock actually goes up to my max loss, right? To $40, I start losing. Uh, it's not quite as likely as before. Let me drag that back so we can look at it. I'll even get a little bit tighter here. There you go. So again, you can kind of just drag these around. So the stock's trading right here right now. So the stock would have to go up all the way to 40 plus some before I started losing money. But I'm only going to make $21. And you could force these way out as if they're even available. Like here's a 45. I made $1 <laughs> on the trade. But where the chances that the stock is to 45 and beyond, there's almost no chance. And you can check that. Let's do something more reasonable. Like a 3750, for instance. Again, this could be any stock. So if I want to know what the chances are that this stock gets to 3750 at the strike price or higher, I can go over to probability analysis, click on that, and I can hover over. I can even grab this line and go to 3750. Just drag it there. So there's actually a pretty good chance that that happens. So if you want to see what the chances are by January 08, hover over that and you'll see 43% chance that it expires above that. And there's actually, if you change that to probability of touching, it's almost an 81% chance that it actually touches 3750. So not the best trade in the world to do, uh, but we never would have known had we not looked. And uh, that's very good. Very nice. So I just wanted to show you that. We'll do sold puts next, and uh, we'll just keep adding on to these stock and option risk graphs until we have a really nice series going. So thanks for joining me on freetradingvideos.com, and I hope to talk to you soon.